one of the things you'll notice is the in place editor here at the bottom. You'll remember we turned that on and if you've got permissions, of course we do because we're the Uber administrators today, you'll have two buttons here at the bottom, one called customize this page and one called change layout. You can actually manage the layout right from this screen. You'll notice that it's now going to ask me to reconfigure all of the content I have. Although it's pretty smart, it's going to say where do you want the current content to be and it's going to try and figure it out for you. So that's really helpful as well. But what's really cool is you can actually even customize the content without actually going into the panel itself. Click on customize this page and you'll see that we can format, add, and delete, and indeed even drag and drop different content around our panel panes. So on here on the left hand side, if I wanted the upcoming training drop down above meet the trainer, just click and drag and we're done. If I want to use one of the built in styles that comes with panels, I can even click on the little paintbrush and say rounded corners. Click next and now I've got little rounded corners around my upcoming training drop down. Again, those styles are completely customizable within panels. At this point, if I wanted to add something to the bottom cell, I could just by clicking the plus symbol, picking any of the page elements that I want, and putting any of these elements in. I could even grab one of the custom blocks. Well, you get the idea. It's really, really powerful what you can do here. I'm going to throw the recent content RSS feed in, click finish, and you'll see there's our recent content RSS feed. And I can click save. And there we have something in the bottom cell. If I don't like it, not a problem. Customize this page and then just click on the trash icon. And it's gone. Really, really fast way to customize your panel. If I click customize my home page again and click on the gear here, of course I can even configure any of the settings that I'd already chosen. This just makes it really easy to keep my panels the way I want. You'll notice, however, the one thing I can't do is actually click and drag and change the layout here, just the content that's in it.